Hey, I'm Officer Trani with Coral Springs Police. I stopped because you're going 72. Is everything okay? Yeah, 72. Huh? Yes, I didn't realize. I'm so you didn't realize you were going that fast? You didn't realize you were going 72? No. Come on, man. I, no, I honestly thought the exhaust is so loud, but it's not. The exhaust loud. is very loud. That's what it is. All right. Do you have your, uh, your license, your registration insurance, please? I'm so sorry. It's you got to be careful because it's not a racetrack out here. There's little kids in soccer mom cars, okay. and if you hit someone, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt them. Can, oh, you, a, can I get a warning or something? For 72? I'm so sorry. Nah, man. There's no warnings for that. Well, the law says you're supposed to carry proof of insurance. Oh, no, I have. Right? Yeah, so it could be on your phone, yeah. or if you have a physical copy, that's okay too. Where are you going to right now? For lunch? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to test your tint too, okay? I just want you to see something. Um, I think it's illegal, but are you a PI, private investigator, or no? I'm a project manager. Okay, but you're not a private investigator? No, but I have a skin Do you have the Florida State um, letter? You don't? You forgot it at home? Do you have a picture of it? Do you know what it's called? The actual term? Yeah, yeah, what's it, it called? It, not a state letter, but what's it called? What's the name? It said, it's given to me what the doctor. I forgot what the actual term it is, but I know exactly. Okay, all right. Uh, do you mind just putting your window here? I'm going to verify. If you have the state letter, I could see, but... That's good. It's called a sunscreen exemption form, okay? So I'm going to look it up, see if I can pull it up on my end, okay? One second. We're going northbound on State Road 7, and he hit 72 miles an hour. And uh, the posted speed limit on State Road 7 is 45. He said he was following his friend. They're going to lunch right now. He asked me if he could get a warning, but I told him no. So this is going to be one expensive lunch for him. All right, sir, I'm giving you one citation for the speed, but you have three options. You can pay it, go to traffic school or traffic court, but whichever option you choose, you just have to comply within 30 days. All right. Um, as far as the sunscreen exemption form, you just got to keep that in the car with you. All right. If not, you could actually get a ticket for it. Okay. Please slow down. I know you're trying to get to lunch, but you, you got to do it the right way out here. The speed limits for a reason. Uh, just, I'm not trying to be Yeah. Out of curiosity, you, the radar no, so I don't show anyone my radar because there's equipment in there, there's rifles and flashbangs and stuff like oh, that. I don't want, yeah, and there's case law that says I don't have to show it. So, so. No, it, I'm not trying to challenge it, it's just that to be honest with you, I, I, I know what's going on. Because when you okay. turn the corner, I need to just put up with my speed I said it was a big gap. Yeah. You did slow it? down. Yeah. You did. You did slow down. Exactly. But you hit 72, but you slowed down. I think you probably heard the exhaust mode. I mean, probably. No, I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you. 100%. So, hang up with him. One temple. All right, man. Be safe, okay? All right, thanks. Hey, that's all right. I stopped you because you're going 61, and you're texting and driving too. All right, everything okay? Yes, sir. I'm late to an appointment. Okay. That's all. Do you have your license? Yeah, you got to be careful because distracted driving is actually just as dangerous as drunk driving. Okay. Do you have your license on you? Your registration, insurance, please. Thank you. So, like I said. Texting and driving is extremely dangerous. It's uh, pretty much as dangerous as drunk driving or impaired driving, um, especially when you're going 61, you're speeding, you're not paying attention, your attention is on your phone, it's on the road, it's on your phone, it's on the road. You're, you're asking for trouble, it's not a good thing. So it's a bad habit. Hopefully he doesn't do it all the time, but um, he was pretty comfortable driving 61 in a, you know, in a city road while texting and driving, so he's probably done it before. But we're gonna look into his uh, history and um, we'll go from there. So I am issuing two citations, one's for the speeding and the other for texting and driving. You have three options. You can pay it, you can go to traffic school or traffic court. Okay. Whichever option you choose though, you have to comply within 30 days. Okay. Please be careful, slow down, and try to stay off the phone, okay? Yes, Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm Officer Trani with Coral Springs Police. I stopped you because you went left from the straight through lane. Yes, I know. I realized that I made a mistake. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you actually can't do that. You're not allowed to do that because once you enter an intersection, you can't cross lanes. There's like solid white lines on the roadway, and that means that you can't cross. If they're broken lines, then you're fine to cross. So it's just all about preventing accidents out here and safety, okay? Um, anyway, do you have your license on you, your registration insurance, please? Where are you heading to right now? Okay. Okay. 
should have because they you were able to go into that first lane. There was nobody there, but they wasn't thinking properly. Yeah, just if you make a mistake like that in the future. I don't do it. I right. Just, Right, but if you make a mistake like that, just go through the, go straight down the road, make the U-turn, and it'll take an extra minute instead of possibly getting to an accident, having to stay there for 30 minutes, possibly getting hurt, hurting someone else, getting a, a ticket, maybe getting sued. It's just not worth it. You gotta look at the big picture here. If you're in a straight through lane, you have to go straight. You can't change lanes within 100 feet of the intersection. And if you see solid white lines, kind of like 10-4, kind of like these parking spaces right here, there's solid white lines can't cross now if they're broken you're allowed to cross but again whether you're uh if you're within 100 feet of the intersection you actually can't change lanes so what she did was improper passing and failing to obey a traffic control device because those lane lines are considered traffic control devices so it is considered aggressive driving because she's con she's conducting two or more of the moving violations which was again failing to obey the traffic control device and improper lane change. Just a written warning, okay, ma'am? It's not a ticket. You don't have to do anything with it, but it's documented. So if you do it again in the future, and someone's gonna see that, and they might issue a ticket next time. All right, so just be, be careful. No problem, all right? Be safe. No problem. Take care. Hey, good afternoon. Good. I stopped you because of your speed, okay? 71 and a 45, is everything okay? All right, you all right? Okay. Can you put your car in park for me, please? I'm Officer Charney with Coal Springs Police. Do you have your license on you, your registration insurance, please? Where are you heading to right now? Right here. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, you just gotta slow it down because it's way too fast. Do you have the registration insurance? I'm sorry about that, man. I don't read that part of it. Yeah, you just, like I said, I mean, it's pretty high over the speed limit here, so. This, this, this never happens, man. If you, this, I'm in here like, the speeding never happens, or are you getting caught never happens? This is, this is the first time. I've ever first time you're speeding ever? First time. First time ever speeding? Yeah, man. Okay. If you check my team, man, no, I'm never getting stuck before. All right. So he's the only vehicle going southbound, actually northbound on State Road 7. Uh, the speed limit here is 45, and he never slowed down one time. He told me this was the first time he's ever been speeding. But then I asked him, is this the first time you ever got caught? And he said, nah, 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 first time I ever sped. It's just too fast out here for for a break. This isn't a highway, this is a state road on a, in a, inside a city. So it's a state road, which means it's maintained by the state of Florida, but we're still in the city of Coral Springs. We're not on the interstate. This has red lights on it, crosswalks, people walking around, unlike a highway where you have open lanes, giant concrete walls, or you're out in the middle of nowhere. So it's a lot different from going 70 on a highway versus 70 inside a city where there's people and lives at risk. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. I know you said it's your first time, but I am issuing a citation. It's too fast, like I said. You have three uh, Sorry, you have three options. You can pay it, you can go to traffic school, which is online, or you can go to traffic court. But whichever option you choose out of those three, you just have to make sure you comply within 30 days. All right, please be careful. If you get hurt, obviously you can't work, and uh, that would be bad, so be safe. I said if you, if you get hurt out here, you obviously wouldn't be able to work, so just please be safe and slow it down a little bit. As I said, man, it's, like, it's my first time meeting this, so you yeah. can explain this to me, like, what is, is this a citation? Yes, sir. It's a citation for the speed. And the fee? The fee is $281, and you'll see it, it's the, if you flip that blue mailer, you'll see it going, uh, how fast you're going over, it'll talk well, about it right it, there. Do you have a, do you have a, did you clock it? 71 and 45, yeah. Huh? Where is it? It's in my car. Can I see? No, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, that guy. But this is an everyday road for me. Yeah, so you take the road every day, you said? Yeah, this is an right here. And yeah, I'm so you should, should know better. Lunch. All right. So, yeah, I don't have to show you the radar. It's, it's case law. The United States Supreme Court says I don't have to show it. I got a bunch of stuff in there that I don't want people near. I got, like, rifles and flashbangs and all that stuff. Nobody needs to be near that except for me. But attached to the citation, it'll have my radar documents, all the certifications that I have with the state, my radar certifications, make sure it's all good. It'll all be there. So if you want, you'll see the prices right here on the top right corner. 
and uh, it talks about the prices. It's not a work zone, it's not a school zone, so it's not the ones below, it's the normal ones right there. So it's not double the fine. All right, but please be careful. So, right. so what, what, I mean, what do I, what, where do I go from here, getting this result? I told you, you have three options. You can pay it, you can go to traffic school, which is online, or you can go to traffic court. But whichever option you choose out of those three, you have to choose one within 30 days. If you don't, Florida is going to suspend your license. So, so me going to either, I mean, regardless of not paying, traffic school, what is traffic school going to do? So if you qualify for traffic school and you complete the course within 90 days, you don't get points on your license. That's if you qualify for it. I don't know, you said that this is the first time ever getting a ticket, right? So you should be good to qualify for the school. If you wouldn't qualify the school, if you had a really bad driving history, or if you already done it numerous times, the state would say, no, we've already given you driving school, you keep speeding. But again, if this is your first ticket, you should be able to qualify. Now, if you pay the ticket, you're, it comes with moving point. It's, it's a moving violation, so it comes with points. So you're pleading guilty, you're accepting points on your license, and then you don't have to do anything further. If you want the last option, going to traffic court, you can represent yourself in court, or you can hire and talk to a traffic attorney and they represent you on your behalf. So you don't even have to show up most of the time. They take care of it for you, even during trial. Those are your options though. That's as best as I can do with explaining. If you need help with uh, getting more explanation, you can read the blue mailer. On the back of your citation too, there's small text. You can look at that too, and it talks about it further. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you can't afford the speed, then you probably shouldn't be speeding, right? No, I'm, I'm telling you, I work right here, man. I, 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 got, I got it, I got it. But I don't give warnings out for that. It's too fast. All right. Please be careful. Thank you. Hey, I stopped you because of your speed, okay? 73 and a 45. Yeah, 73. Is everything okay? Okay. What do you do? Okay. Yeah, you got to slow it down, man. It's 45, okay? Do you have your license on you, your registration insurance? My name is Officer Charney, by the way. I work for Coral Springs Police. Do you? All right, thank you. Do you have the registration insurance? This is really car. Through who? Uh, economy. economy? Okay, who owns this car though? Is this like a rental through an app? No, it's a rental car. It's from the airport. It's the airport. Really? Yeah. Alright, there's tint all over this car, so you can't have window tint in a rental car. Alright, can you put your window like this way up? I want to measure something real quick. That's good. So 12% and then the entire windshield's tinted. Okay, so you can't have anything on the windshield past the AS1 line. Yeah, I mean, if you're saying it's a rental car, do you have any uh, rental agreement paperwork with you or no? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see that economy again. And this is the key they gave you? Okay. Yeah, no, this just tell her I got pulled over I'm right here at the light. I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm trying to get to work now. I'm waiting for you to finish up. All right. Give me like two minutes. Huh? Give me like two minutes. Okay, good, right? I mean, yeah, with your license. But, well, I'm going to write you a ticket for speeding. Right. Yeah. Like I said, give me two minutes. All right. I'm not going to write you a tent ticket, but whoever's in charge of the vehicle, you need to let them know. Big. Big. He, the police said he's gonna write me a ticket, but he just, he's saying about the rental, he's saying. The tents, you can't have the tents on the rental vehicle. So you gotta call the company Economy and let them know that you're driving a car that's illegal with illegal tents. You could get a ticket for that. All right. All right, I'll be right back, two minutes. All right, just the one citation for speeding, okay? You have three options, you can pay it, traffic school or traffic court. Whichever option you choose, you have to comply within 30 days, that's it. But yeah, as far as the tent goes, I would call them immediately, because I'm telling every window, yeah, because every window that's illegally tinted, you can get a ticket for it, it comes back to you, not the company. All right? All right. Be safe, man. Slow it down.